All right, guys, wanted to welcome you back to more Resident Evil 2. About to continue right where we left off last time with the E3 demo uh, for Resident Evil 2. So if you would like me to play the full game when it does come out, just destroy that like button. You guys killed it in the first video, so thank you so much for that. And uh, yeah, let's do this, guys. It's going to be such a great game. I, I, I feel like it was definitely needed because... I think besides Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out in January, there's nothing else. And so, I know February's packed. You have Days Gone, what, Crackdown 3, Anthem, and then something else. All coming out on the same day in February. So, I, I don't know. It's going to be a crazy 2019. This is one of those games I'll probably replay several times and even show you guys when I beat it. I'll do like the bonus modes for hunk and tofu i feel like oh, hold on oh man the detail the huh? graphics are insane <laughs> what is this where the liquor is up top? Unless it's something else this time. Yo, I would not look out that window. I think you can go in the room right there, but you need the, I think it's a club key. It's one of those you can come back to. That's one of the cool things about the map is it's, it's something you, as you get all the different keys, you're basically going back to the other areas you need and, uh, Finding new things in the rooms you couldn't originally go in. Game seems like so much more creepy with it being over your shoulder like this. Let's see if he's gonna use the knife at all. Oh, so they kept it the original way. You have to be so close to use that knife. There you go. <laughs> What were some of those uh, speed runs people did on the first Resident Evil game? They only used the knife, but they beat the game in like under an hour. Absolutely insanity. Weapon locker, key card. So it's okay. So you can't. I didn't know how much you could actually carry, but I know that. The one thing you always have to stay on top of in this game is your health and making sure you got ammo. That is the two biggest things. I did read where they said that the original game, it's going to be just like the original, except obviously the way the camera angles and stuff are, but it's, it's more of a... They added some new stuff in it. So while it is the same game, it's a remake of it, they also... Put some other stuff in there, so. I'm thinking what I'm thinking. That zombie's definitely about to move. He can combine the other ammo, it looks like. One thing I noticed is the bloom. You stay aimed in and you don't move. I wonder if you do more... I don't think they have like, crit hits and everything. I think Resident Evil 4 and 5, I think even 6, they had random times where it'd shoot the gun. Going at it. You gotta make sure, right? They'd have like random shots where they do like a pop. So I wonder if they're gonna add that kind of stuff to this game. I think it originally had it, but the trigger of it was so like... It was really rare when it did happen. Oh, 
Oh, the one thing they... I think the one thing they did add to this game that... From the trailer I saw... Oh, yeah, the different types of ammos and stuff. I think when you get the, uh... I want to say it's a grenade launcher. You get, like, the different types. Three headshots. Not enough. <laughs> I think you can shoot at their legs. They fall up. You run up and use a knife. I guess he's just getting four or five headshots, then using the knife. That's a lot of bullets to kill a zombie in this game. I don't, I'm kind of curious which difficulty he's actually on. Since it was an E3 demo, I'd think they'd make it... Because ammo seems like there's a ton. So when things seem, like, plentiful, I guess it's probably on easy or normal. But they made the... I think it's... I don't think it actually ever had a name, but it's the Tyrant. You see him occasionally walking around, and I think in Resident Evil 3, they had Nemesis, which is, like, the newer version of that. I think it's cool how the thing says Leon above that. I'm gonna probably like when I'm going back editing, I'm probably gonna pause and read everything. I mean, I think it's honest, honestly, I think some of the notes and stuff are the same. Oh yeah, that's safe. I'm like, I have the urge to go back and play this game now. I know it's not gonna be anything like this experience, probably, but... I feel like some of the key moments are still gonna be there. The key puzzles, everything. It seems like, cause you got the... Four different types of... I guess, keys you need just for the police station. You're gonna have other stuff down the road, but... Yeah, that's really well done with the moonlight. So you're gonna break through. Oh, a little save spot over here on the right. Break all the wood and stuff too to get uh oh yeah, the triple triple green. Wooden boards. I don't remember this game had anything where you could break. I remember there was a save point in here though. I used so many ink ribbons in the game. It doesn't look like it uses that anymore because that used to actually take up an inventory slot. And to get the best rank when you beat it. I think you had to save, like, only a handful of times and beat it in a certain amount of time. It just... I don't know. There was all these different requirements. I think it was really cool, like, a lot of this is still the same. The whole map and everything is, like, identical so far. It's just, since you're looking over the shoulder, things are a lot different. Yeah, I would not go over there. Now that's a cool feature. That wasn't in the original game. Boarding up windows. Take the legs out. I guess sometimes you can get them to fall back on one headshot. But it seems like in this game it just doesn't seem to work. Leave them there and run. The footage I was originally given, uh, from Capcom, I think it was from Capcom, uh, they, it was, it stopped right when that guy pulled you through the door. And so I was like, man, I want to see the whole thing, and so I was, I'm just glad I was able to get this. So I'm sure they'll have a demo for it, it's like, the demo might be even this exact thing down the road. Cause people, then it give people a chance to actually play it. Yeah, hold up the 42 bullets now, that's, uh, pretty substantial. Favorite gun of the game was the either the shotgun aiming up, taking headshots, or the I guess the Magnum, the Desert Eagle, was absolutely brutal. As so we got the first key, it looks like. Oh, here we go.
I may show you guys the trailer. I, I might throw it in one of these two videos. I'm not 100% sure uh, how I've got it edited, but I'll definitely try to... Because I, I kind of want to look at it again. So you can keep boarding up the windows. I guess you don't want to pick that up right now because you definitely need that key. After you use it on all the different doors, I think it just discards. Yo, they are everywhere. There's C4 right there? Guessing you can just shoot that, right? I would think you want to shoot it, but yeah, let's see if he tries it. That's, I mean, I, I would think you wouldn't. I guess you can interact with it, but. Hmm, that's interesting. Made him have the exact same idea for that. Some guy's scribblings. Detonate it. Sayonara, suckers. It's giving you, like, instructions on how to do that, but... Oh, the hip pouch. Add in a couple of slots. Let's go, man. I was thinking that too, if you can't shoot it, you could cut it off and then put it in your inventory and use it for later, but... Uh, some more bullets, it looks like. And you see, I th I'm pretty sure he can combine the other ones too. He's kind of doing like I would do and just exploring everything. He just missed something right there, I think. I'm sure he'll see it when he goes around this left side. Yeah, here you go. Nice. Oh, wow. Marvin, I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Mark? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. I wonder how early of a build this is. I mean, I know we're seven months out, but what... What all would change, really, you know? I think graphically it looks really good. I can... I mean... I'm not sure how far it's gonna go as far as PC versus console and everything, but I feel like... Even if it looks this way now, I would be happy just because I'm a huge fan of the game al already. I think he just passed that ladder back there. Or he can just fall through the ground. That also works. Yeah, at a certain point, you just gotta run. Red book. What if they added some new stuff to, like, the puzzles and everything? Seems like they kind of did some stuff here and there, but the keys, I remember that being in there. Oh, it's the other puzzle. All right, so he's gonna probably gonna, he's gonna have to carry that medallion once he gets it. Yeah, he's gonna check that little, uh... yeah, here it is. He's gonna have to drop something just to pick that up anyway, so. That's a cool, though, for, like, a demo to actually have this much of the game. Because not only are you exploring the left and right hallways to the full extent, just about, you're you're doing the puzzles, they show cutscenes. That was cool. Yeah, I was wondering what he was going to do. <laughs> he better drop some. Already got the medallion. That zombie looks weird. Like people, I remember when you play as Tofu, I don't, th I think you only had a knife, if I'm not mistaken. One thing I hope they do add, so what he just tried to do there was add that. I'm hoping to add a way to just automatically, I know the original game didn't have it either, but add a way to just replace it. Rather than having to go back, drop something, and then do that. That might be like a quality of life improvement they throw in down the road. He's supposed to report back to that guy. I'm guessing he's about to go there in a few minutes. Combat knife wouldn't really change much, I guess. So 
So your knife just be a little bit stronger. I man, it's been so long. I mean, the original game came out. I don't know, like <laughs> when I was a kid. So remembering all these like little puzzles and stuff. I think the last time I might have played this game was probably in like seventh grade. So forth. The oh, you can use a knife now. That is sick. What if you can get it back though? Oh, that's really nice. I like how they added that in the game. That's another cool thing. The original game, you actually had to select the key and everything, so. He's back in the main little hallway. I guess he's gonna go. It looks like the video is about to end, so he's probably gonna go there and talk to him, and then that might end it. I'm guessing he's gonna put the little medallion in first, or maybe not. There you are. Come here. Take a look. Jess. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. <laughs> That was awesome. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I may show... I don't know which part of the video I probably threw in. I, I might have already shown it before this. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on these videos. I uh, will be kind of getting back to making, I guess, more me playing stuff and everything else pretty soon. I'm just trying to... There, there was so much stuff at E3 that I really wanted to talk about. So, hope you guys enjoyed the videos. Thank you so much for any all likes you dropped on these two videos. And I guess I will catch you all very soon. Take it easy.